Hey loves, it uh, is me, Jasmine L. Sinclair. Thank you for coming to my channel. It has been a long time since I've made a video for this channel, um, but it's New Year's, new commitments, 2020, we have renewed clarity, renewed minds, all of those things, and so here we are. I'm not gonna get into where I've been, what I've been doing, if you know me, you know. But, because it's the new year, of course, we are all, um, I've started reading my Bible through again. I read a one-year Bible, or I start to read a one-year Bible every year. Sometimes I finish, sometimes I don't. Miss a few days here and there. But the Bible that I go through is this Every Day with Jesus Bible. It is the um, Devotions with Devotions by Selwyn Hughes. It's the HCSB version, and I just love it. I love the devotionals that it has in it, um, the prayers, everything. It's just a really, I like the translation as well. It's easy. Um, so in my reading for the past couple of days, we're still in the Old Testament, um, in Genesis, in the Old Testament parts of the reading, and we're talking about Jacob, and when Jacob goes, um, just Jacob's life, we've gone through Abraham, we've gone through Isaac, here we are, we are with Jacob, and can I just say, I love the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I... I just, and I am so thankful that God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So that means he's the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Jasmine. And this God that I'm learning about again, and all of the things that he did and the promises he gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that is the God that I want for me. He is amazing, and he is merciful, and he is kind, and he keeps his promises. So, talking about Jacob and the portion of the reading for today that we're talking about I'm um, today Saturday is January 18th talking about Jacob after he left um, Laban and he had to go back to Canaan well going back to Canaan he had to pass through the land where his brother Esau lived and long story short Jacob left his homeland of Canaan, running away from Esau, who's going to kill him because he stole his birthright and his blessing. Um, and he had been gone for, you know, more than 14 years. We know that he spent 14 years working for his wife, who he loved, Rachel, and then spent additional years working for him. Eventually left Laban um, as a wealthy man with some experiences on how to deal with difficult people and difficult employers and um, now had some knowledge and wisdom under his belt. So he's going through through the land, getting and approaching the area where Esau lives. And he go he's going in there and he's scared because he knows that the last time he saw his brother, or last time he encountered his brother, he was trying to kill him. He was out for his blood and had Jacob running the other way, away from the promise, um, from the promised land. So as he's approaching, he's saying, Lord, you know, you promised me this, you know, I'm coming up to my brother's land, you know, you know, this, my camp is your camp. Bless me as you promised. So he goes in there and he confronts his brother, he confronts his brother, he confronts his fear. And my thought about that is what is your esau what i was like what is my esau we all have that thing where you know we're in 2020 it's the new year we all have these things that we wanted to do that we haven't done and there is a portion um there is a place where we started doing that thing or we started moving toward the goal and the thing the promise that god had put on our hearts but there was something that stopped us in our track and had us turn the other way. What is that thing? What is that thing that had you running away in fear of the um, t that you had to cross to get to the promise? And my thing is we have to go and we have to confront that fear. Just like Jacob confronted his father, his brother Esau, we have to go and confront his fear because he would not have been able to move past to get to the promised land if he didn't go through Esau. So, um, and the way Jacob went about it, as I said before, he went about it and he had, he left 
and he gained wisdom, he gained knowledge, and he became prepared for the next encounter that he had. When he came, he went up, he sent three um, parties in front of him to give gifts to Esau. He came humbly to Esau and bowed down to him seven times when he um, encountered him. And then, you know, once he encountered him, he saw that it was all good. He continued on to the promised land. You know, the first part, giving, having these gifts, you have to be ready. You have to be prepared for that thing that you are confronting. You have to know, you know, think about what it was. Think about what it was that um, you did not have before that you now have that equips you to confront this fear and to move forward. Two, um, be humble. You know, there was something about this that had you running the way, running away the next time. Just because you have these things and you are equipped, know that you know if you come in here with this thing, you're cocky, and you think, oh, I got it all together now. It can easily overtake you. Esau was coming, coming to meet him with 400 men because Esau probably didn't know what Jacob had in mind either. So he was coming with 400 men to do what? May it could have gone, you know, awry if Jacob had come and been cocky and been like, oh, here I am, I'm back. I, you know, I've been blessed. Have you? Because, you know, I got the birthright and I got the blessing and you didn't. And that could have sent the whole, the whole thing turned it left instead of the way it went. Because Jacob was humble. He came, he brought, he was prepared. He presented himself to the situation with his preparation with these three gifts he was humble he said you know my brother here i am i'm your servant and then once he saw it was all good his brother invited him over um to his land wherever he lived jacob was like no you know what i'm good thank you but i'm good now that i know that we're good and that i can move past you to get to the promise i'm gonna i'm gonna do that so jacob didn't go with his brother he didn't go hang out in um the land of Sierra or Siev, um, he didn't go hang out there because if you hang out where your fear lives because you think you've conquered it, it is too easy for you for old feelings and old insecurities and, and old mindsets to come in. And then that might have created, you know, those old memories of Jacob tricking his father and taking Esau's, Esau's blessing would come up again and make Esau feel some kind of way and then cause strife again and maybe turn Jacob back to where he came from instead of going forward to the promise. So once Jacob saw that it was good, he went on to the promise. You can't conquer that fear, you leave it. Leave it there. You conquer that person, you conquer that situation, you um, show people who you are, your new self. Because Jacob did what it says in Ephesians 4, he took off he put off the old self and he put on the new self and he kept going. So you keep going and then you go and you get to your promise. But don't linger. You go, get to your promise. Don't linger in your fear. Don't linger in that situation because you think, oh, I got this. Um, continue the humility that you have and continue the obedience. You know, Jacob knew that his directions were going to, Can to Canaan. His directions were not, hey, I need you to go. Um, to Canaan, but on the way, stop and hang out with Esau. That those weren't his directions. His directions were to go to Canaan. On his way to Canaan, he had to encounter Esau, move past that, and go on to Canaan with his new self. Because at this point, when he encounters Esau, he's wrestled with the angels. His name has been changed to Israel. He's no longer the old Jacob that Esau knew. Had he gone to hang out with Esau? Esau would have brought up all these old things that Jacob did and all the memories that he had and not understanding that he is a new creature. He has been completely renamed by this angel that was Jesus Christ that he wrestled with all night. You have those people, you know, some people who you might need to go through, but you don't need to stay with them. They don't need to stay with you because they will continue to bring up the old you. So, get to your promise. Don't be afraid of your Esau. Don't be afraid of that thing that you've encountered before that sent you running. You are, you know, a child of God. You have been promised 
abundant life you have been promised whatever God has put on your heart you've prayed about it if it's his will he will make it such continue to go move forward move past your fears conquer them face them move on hope this helps somebody I will be back with more videos um, and I will link if I don't know if this Bible is still in print but I will link it down below um, you can also follow me on Instagram at JL Sinclair and you can follow me on YouVersion at JL Sinclair. Um, I'll link those down below as well. Please like, comment, and subscribe on this video and I'll see you guys next time.